noticing uh, a stream of particles coming out of the uh, Soyuz. Like a car with a blown radiator, the Soyuz spacecraft has no way to cool down. Particles of what could be uh, coolant fluid. The ship lost all of its coolant in December after a direct hit from a microscopic micrometeoroid while docked at the International Space Station. Russia's space agency now says the capsule is unsafe, which is bad news for the two Russians and one American who are expecting to ride the Soyuz back to Earth after months in orbit. Basically, their lifeboat has a serious enough problem that they can't trust it to bring them home. Former Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield flew aboard a Soyuz capsule for his mission commanding the ISS. If your ship has no way to provide cooling, you can rapidly get to the point where human beings can no longer function. Space is a dangerous place, and this situation is now extra risky because there are actually seven people on board the space station from two different crews. Suddenly, there's no option for everyone to escape in an emergency. The station's only other lifeboat seats just four. In February, Russia plans to launch an empty Soyuz to bring the men back, which will delay the launch of the next ISS replacement crew by months. Three will come home, the other four will get some unexpected extra time to enjoy the view, and all things considered, they're likely not complaining. Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's like a gift. All it does is give those three people uh, a greater chance to do what they've trained their whole lives for. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.